This is Start. This is the Gamecraft Gamecast on GameRacks.com. I'm your host, Bronson. This is already starting out great for a return. I am joined by... Anthony Ta. Brown Galan. Tori Laughlin. Hi. Hi. This is your first Gamecast. What's going on? Not much. You, yeah, so... A lot has gone Power's out. out. Yeah. Power's out. We're recording <laughs> on a laptop. With its battery. <laughs> yeah. What happened was, is... Everyone's over, we're recording, and then it just power drops. Uh, great. Okami is delayed yet again. Fuck! If she has to, we're, we're doing at least an hour of Okami today if the power gets comes back with the hey, next time. at least hour. by this being delayed, John will be back here on time. That's probably. Do, uh, but that's yeah, true, but then she has to leave at like 12. I do have to leave at noon. Oh. Which, <laughs> her ride will be here at least for that, so. Okay. You have to leave. But you two are trapped until we're back, so that's great. Um, all right, so it's been a while. I didn't dress up this way because for you guys. Sorry. That's it's all right. <laughs> Look, it, I got Rossetti. Yay. She's playing Animal Crossing. Great. Uh, <laughs> so I'd like to transfer this podcast thing that we do first every time. What y'all been playing? Anything new? Ish? Not really. I did buy Civ Five Brave New World during the Steam sales a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, ta- let's talk about those Steam sales. I spent sixteen dollars. Okay. And ended up with Borderlands Two Game of the Year Edition. So it's Borderlands Two and all of its DLC. I think the only one I actually got was Skyrim. Uh, I bought Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim's a good one. I bought Skyrim for two dollars and fifty cents, which is a very very good deal. And then I bought The Witcher Two for four dollars, which I don't know about. That I think you really like that game. Yeah, yeah, I would like The Witcher. It, it's it's very Western RPG cinematic. Okay. It 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 seems right up your alley. Okay, that's nice. Um, I don't think I've played one of those kinds of games in a really long time. I think I stopped with Dragon Age Two. It's very pretty too. And Dragon's Dogma. Those are like I stopped at those, and that was like two years ago or something. It's a very pretty game as well. Um. Out of those, I've barely touched uh, Borderlands because Aaron and I are trying to play it together, so our schedules need to align. Aaron and his vagueness. Uh, yeah. I got things to do. I got things. <laughs> Though I do that same shit I'm too. I'm going to put a squid in my house. And Tori is playing Animal Crossing, saying random things. Hi, sorry. I'm putting a squid in my house. It's going to be great. Um, focus. I find that I get. I'm not going back to Animal Crossing because I find that I get a little obsessed with how I decorate my house. Yeah, see, that's the issue with Animal Crossing. Whenever in Final Fantasy fourteen, whenever my uh, community gets like a new house, I'm like, I gotta decorate, and I get a little carried away doing it because it's, it's like The Sims to me. Oh, I sometimes. love The Sims. The Sims I, are the best I've, thing I've ever. I've never had that. Like, I'm just well, like, I know everyone's different. I'm just like one of those people that just strangely enough just loves to make a house look good. I, I want to go. I want to go in, murder in, in things. The game. You have to understand <laughs> that life simulations are like my favorite thing in the world for some reason. Actually, it's not surprising for a lot I, of uh, female gamers. I, I have. I have. I have that for anime. Like, I like a lot of slice of life anime. But no, but it's like the stupidest thing in the world. Like I know life simulations are really, really dumb. <laughs> I know but, it. But there's something but really I, cool. There's something about it that I'm See, just like me, this is the, the best thing, thing in the world. Of, yeah, for me it's the whole part of like, okay, uh, this dude is poor. He's working a shitty job, and somehow has to make five friends to be promoted at work. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Sims. The old Sims, Sims. The older Sims games. What they did was, uh, you had to, you had to have like eight friends. Best you did friends. before you could get promoted at work. You had to have like. And I'm friends. like, I don't remember. A so life like me, you and Panda should have already been promoted by now. Bronson, you to should Sims. be general manager of your workplace because you know everybody. That's and that's, they know you. According yeah. to Sims logic. According to Sims logic. Also, according to Sims logic, you can get a full night's rest if your bed is awesome enough and you can sleep only four hours and feel refreshed. Yep. So and if your fridge is better, and if you buy so, the world's most expensive fridge, you're never hungry ever again. Oh so, yeah, and your your cooking, like when you have a stove that's like awesome and costs like four thousand simoleons, it builds your cooking skill just by using it. So, <laughs> here, so here's a question that came up on another podcast: if if you could give away half your possessions to only need to sleep for one hour and feel fully rested, would you do it? Half of my possessions. Yes. Yeah, half of what you owe. Ooh, that's, that's that's. Yes, because I can keep the important shit. I have a lot of really unimportant. It's shit. randomly selected though. That's mm-hmm. what worries me. It's randomly selected. Do I really need my shit? The thing is though, is like think about how much faster you earn it back. Like you work two jobs and then still have a shit done. For I time. could go to college and work at the same time and yeah. still get everything you, you done. Because you, could, you could think about it, I night. sleep. I'm an, I'm an eight hours a night person. So mm-hmm. if I could like cut, take those seven hours, and still have time no. to do school, time to relax, and time to do work, would be I nice. fell into a pitfall. Okay, we can't have these animatable crossing eruptions. It's okay. Yeah. Battery, Nor- normally, normally I like ban play during these. It's okay. Her battery is about to run out. Oh yeah, great! My Mine's fully charged, so I can keep playing Mario Kart if All I right. can focus. Great. Great. Battery but, uh, is not that. Yeah, I could work a job. Shape. I could work a job, go to school, and. Um, you're being called. I am being yeah. called, apparently. Yeah. Okay, we can keep going now. Okay, so apparently the power's going to be out potentially until 3 p.m. Ooh, isn't that nice? Because that's right when the heat wave comes in for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking about after this. Brem and I hit the river. If you want to come with it for me. No. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm dressed in girls in bikinis. Yeah, yeah I think Lake Tahoe is a better place. For that, that is true. Lake Tahoe is better for that. Yeah, ah, this is terrible. Why would they do this to what my house? What did I say about random house? Sorry, but look what she did to my house. She changed the carpet. Do you think that's an outburst? You should. You should see. I'm playing Mario Kart on like freaking Rainbow Road on 50 feet. Uh, 150cc. Yeah, but you know that one trick I taught you, so that shouldn't be that hard. Actually, it kind of is. Um, it made it a lot easier, but not easy. I I would love to like this. This is kind of irritating. This whole power outage thing because I know when we're gonna done, I want to play. It happens just right when we show up at your house too. Yeah, right as you show up, like not ten seconds ago, I was on the internet. Everything was working. Your computer was booting. Uh, yeah, and it all died. Yeah, and I was just like, well, fuck. You know, so. I mean, I guess, the, I guess this gives me an opportunity to play DS and Vita games. You don't do that enough, Bronson. DS games? Not unless it really grabs me. Like, I remember when I reviewed Project Cross Zone, I was playing that like six hours a day. And I also remember when Pokemon came out, I was playing it every day. Dude, when Pokemon came out and I finally got my DS, I just played Pokemon for like 30 hours straight. I think I dropped like 28 hours into it that first like week and then and then Alex and I started battling at work and it was it was interesting. I just slammed through the story. I finished it so fast. I don't connect with Pokemon that much anymore. I don't either. Like that's the thing. But the thing is is that you well even Pokemon X it's like the best one in years Mm. but I just can't connect with it. I tried yeah, I used to like it a lot, because if I spent 181 hours in Pokemon Emerald and another 100 hours in Sapphire, that kind of says something. And I built a slightly competitive team in Diamond. I used to care a lot, but I think I might have gotten burned out. So, what happened to me is I put 100 hours into Gold and Silver, and Red and Blue, and Yellow. And then Ruby came out, and I just barely finished it. And I mean barely. Yeah, that game was and kind then, of obnoxious. And I, I skipped Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. why am I tired? Oh. Yeah, not. I slept eleven hours last night. <laughs> yeah, you should not be tired at all. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm feeling surprisingly refreshed right now. But uh, so I, I skipped Diamond and Pearl. Mm-hmm. I haven't played them at all. Tried to pick up Black and White, hated it. Uh, skipped Black and White too. Then X comes out, and I loved it. 
I loved every minute of it. It's like they they had they had a lot of the old Pokemon back. The new ones they had were cool and not dumb. You know, like Pokemon Black and White had a lot of dumb ones, like Trubbish. Hey, what are you trying to say? Pokemon that Black. That is the stupidest Pokemon the, uh, in the world. Dumb ones? Tru- Trubbish. The Black and the White generation. The key one, Kev- 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 Klefik. Yeah. Um, Klefki. Well, uh, Girder. Girder, who's I a construction worker. Yeah. I, I remember I wrote a pretty darn good rant about the new Pokemon designs in black and white. Chandelure? Chandelure I, I said, is super cool, like, though. I said that... It's still a chandelure. I said that it they is, ran out of ideas. but it's like a cool... Po- it's like really powerful. I remember yeah. I ranted about the new Pokemon. It has I the strongest that, special uh, attack out of any Pokemon. I said, I said that they... They're That's questionable. not a legendary, anyway. The Pokemon designs in, po- in black and white, I remember I said, it's like, these Pokemon are going to send up as many question marks, if not more... Than those who thought the one of them was an ice cream cone. I know it sent out more question marks. And it sent out as much, if not more, question marks than the Pontiac Aztec. Down volume, down <laughs> on his. I was gonna say I don't even have the volume on. Yeah. So you got the Pontiac <laughs> Aztec ideas for Pokemon designs, and then their names are just confusing to pronounce too. And I thought, you know what? Anybody who tries to write a Pokerap for these new Pokemon names. It's going to be like the SAT. Someone did a all, every single Pokemon Pokemon rap. Like all 700 yeah. or whatever? I it think it's like 800 a, or something. I haven't checked. Yeah. It's, no, they're like 780 something. I, I just know that at the end of the Ruby Sapphire generation, there was like uh, 491, I think. Yeah. Like, it has gotten, it has gone too far. It's gotten to the point where it's like, we always need, need to new Pokemon. stop making new Look, Pokemon. here's a way to make Pokemon seriously, like, feel fresh. Write something, like, do, like, what Coliseum did and, like, write a new story. Keep the same Pokemon and write a new story instead of always coming up with a gazillion one of them. I, I, I know they're never going to do it, but a Pokemon MMO. That won't Ev- happen. Everyone, I know. Everyone wants it, though. It won't happen. I actually thought a Zelda MMO could have been cool. No, yeah, no, it's no, kind of no. hard though because Zelda lore is just kind of confusing. I was gonna it, say, it, how are you because even the timeline, in my opinion, is just like they just wrote this because they, I don't think they ever intended anybody to think there is a timeline, but then Ocarina of Time happened and it's like every timeline has to exist or something. Well, okay, so this was my idea years ago for a Zelda MMO. You get to choose a race Hylian, Zora, Goron, um, fucking desert people. Uh, they're Gerudo. called. Yeah. Gerudo people. Gerudo. Gerudo. Uh, and then, like... I'd be the Zoron. I'd probably be a Goron. I'd definitely pick the Helion. Yeah. No uh, shit, right? I just, I'm just i just a sucker for people with pointy ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Night Elf. But see... Fish people. That's fine. There's nothing but, really wrong but, with it. I'm just going to find it real interesting about how they fit... It's going to be weird because you're going to be in the middle of the Gerudo Desert and there's this fish people just standing there for four hours, not dying. And it's going to look really weird. Well, I mean, on the other end of that, toy rock people. <sighs> but fish people. But though. rock people. I just... <laughs> that eat rocks. Why would you want to eat rocks? That doesn't sound like it tastes good at all. And you It does if you're a rock man. How does that happen? Uh-huh. No, because then you're like How cannibalism. <laughs> But then you are like dot 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 cannibals. <laughs> that should be the name of this podcast, Emily. Okay. okay. But then you are like dot 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 cannibalism. Oh god, I miss doing this show. Um. Oh god. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know Zelda MMO. Zelda MMO. That would. I just don't feel like. I don't understand how it would. Oh, yeah, for me, it doesn't like make work. sense in my head. Well, like, think about all, like, the side quests Link has to do. Okay. Now just people do them. Okay. Random adventurers. I don't See, know. I never felt like a Zelda game was actually that deep to I don't think you can make, a, don't think you can make an MMO out of that. I think, no. you, I think there's potential for it. But there's we'll potential for it, but they have to write so much more new stuff to expand the Zelda universe in order to make it well, happen. Hyrule it's, not, it's not like with Warcraft where... You already have a colossal amount of lore to work with, and it's not like with Final Fantasy fourteen where you kind of have like a mostly a fresh fr- slate, a fresh slate, and you can like write your new world and just use items and things established in Final Fantasy, like you know those Magitech thingies. I think they kind of do that. For Magitech sure. would be nice. 
It's already in there. You get your own freaking Magic Tech Mountain in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. It's just everyone else has one because the how do you get it? You finish the story. Done. Easy. Simple. So, Tori's buying her new laptop soon. Yep. Ooh, that's fun. And I'm trying to get it, get her into Warlords of Draenor with Quinn and I. I think it's a terrible idea. And, and, I, and I think I'm getting you into it. Well, you're buying it for me. Yeah. That's like the only way I'm going yeah, to care. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you do understand I don't want to buy it, right? I, I, I can't afford three copies. I, I can really afford two. I know you can't. Bronson, I don't know why. What's with you, Bronson? Your insistence you that go... I get. You're like freaking... I want I want to play games with you. Like, that's that's why. Yeah, we mm. haven't really done that since... Grand Theft Auto. And really not since Halo Reach. And even Grand Theft Auto, we didn't do it that much. We only, like, that... robbed a couple convenience stores and then gave up. Because that game's online isn't very good. Regardless of what other people say. Grand Theft Auto turns me into a mean person. Th- okay. Yeah. I think it does that to most people. Well, which aspect of it does? The single player or the multiplayer? The single player. I don't think I've ever played the multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, the multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto is just kind of like, I just, first off, no one ever, no, I don't know anybody who actually plays it regularly. Um, Me either. I mean, I, f- I found it funny when, like, you and I robbed convenience stores. And, like, I shot that Yeah, guy. but even then, it was like, okay, so what else do we do? We can't plan a heist because we don't, none of us have enough money for a house. We don't want to work for a house, and not to mention we there were like other games that we wanted. To we play we did do that side mission where we had to steal the meth van. That was fun. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we were really bad at that job. Yeah, but we got it done. We got it done, but oh man. Um, yeah, my friend Scott has this video of me on his phone, just beating up old ladies on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. I kept telling them to give me their money. I think, yeah, but I think, but before Grand Theft Auto, it was like maybe a match of Madden or two. Yeah. And the only game, last game that we played extensively together was either Mist of Pandaria, which, which, actually, it was either Cataclysm or Halo Reach. That was it. Yeah. That was it, and that was a long, long, long which, time ago. That's like four years ago. Which, yeah, like that's why I'm like, man, Destiny would be kind of great because everyone's playing it. Yeah, everyone's gonna play Destiny. And just, then, and then, am I gonna play Destiny? Well, if you get a PS4. See, that's the issue. I'm just really yeah. insistent because I'm like, look, I already have an MMO that I'm playing already. Please don't make it worse. Just let's 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 ruin out these lives. No, and let's have it run two oh, MMOs God. at the same time. It's even worse that you're getting me Warlords of Draenor and Destiny comes out about the same time. Like, what the hell? I, I the thing is, I don't know when Warlords is coming out. I hope it comes out before Extra Life. I hope it comes out. Early next year, or I don't know actually. There isn't a great time for it to come out would be now because it's the middle of summer, but no one ever puts games out in the summer for yeah. some reason. Well, I mean, right now it's in beta, so yeah, you know, so that means if the timeline continues, it's probably gonna come out like late November, late November, early December. So. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Look, I'm not gonna spend. Four hundred dollar, four hundred. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to spend like four fifty plus tax to get a PS4 I, just for Destiny. Just no. But there's Drive Club. Drive Club is nice. That bundle, I'm actually really thinking, but I still have to go out and buy Destiny. And then like, and then like four months later, Metal Gear. I know I'm getting one in 2015. So you know, January first, 2015, I buy one to celebrate New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> then, 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 yeah. Then we can carry you in Destiny. It's like, hey Anthony, look at us in all epic gear. Uh, let's not use them on all terms. For that's what it is, though. They, I know, but let's just... They even color... I co- want to keep this in layman terms, because this is freaking the game cast. This is Dang the, it. They, they, and you want to know what's even weird? In, in, the, in the alpha, they color-coded it like, wow, the best gear is purple. Dear goodness. I told you, that game is Halo and Warcraft put together. It's like my worst nightmare come to life. Final Fantasy Blue, I think, is the color. Is it? I Actually, I have my phone. I have to check right now. Does do they have an armory app? Well, yeah. Not many people use it though, obviously, because it's not that huge. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously, I, I'm not gonna sign. It. it takes too much effort. They call it Libre Yours, yeah, because well, that's Square Enix using it. But they're like really good with their synonyms and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna look at the. If I were to ever play that game, my character, because you have last names in that game, he would be... Okay, so your relic, which is kind of like your second best weapon in the game, is purple. 
the special ones are usually the special loot drops are blue. Okay, so for those purple of, and blue, the most powerful colors in the game, literally green, good ish. <laughs> so this is how Warcraft goes. Orange is legendary, which there's like maybe one of those per expansion. Then purple is the best for non legendary. Then blue is rare, green is uncommon, white is regular, gray is garbage. Woohoo, garbage. Well, gray itself is not a very exceptional color, but everyone goes with it because it's not offending. Yeah, well. You're not going to be offending any enemies with gray. <laughs> I know, I. Uh, so, we, so we haven't recorded since before E3. You could try, but you'd fail. Yeah. <laughs> So it's we like if you were if you were to pick a color for your car that offends people, would you pick gray? No. <laughs> no. You I'm, win. Um, I'm trying to th- like what I'm about like gunmetal? <laughs> Did it gunmetal so, gray? <laughs> it's like metallic. <laughs> so you picked up Skyrim in the Steam sale, but you haven't played it yet because I haven't been able to download it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, because your computer's <laughs> garbage. Your current one anyway. Um, but that'll be fixed soon. You're getting that. What's the name of the one that you ended up deciding on? It's also an MSI, but I don't remember the name. What the name of it? Yeah, it's an MSI. Um, yeah. It's like a thousand dollars less expensive than the computer I was gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, thousand dollars less expensive. That's actually a lot. That's, 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 well, that's it's still over a thousand dollars. I know, but still, saving a thousand dollars is a lot of money. Everyone's like saying, "Oh, well, it's just an extra two hundred dollars, and you're just spending two grand." Yeah, but that's two hundred dollars. Think about it. What can you buy with two hundred dollars? Because if you look at it at percent, Distress. if you look at percent, <laughs> yeah, it's like maybe it's only five percent more expensive. That's still two hundred dollars. Yeah. Think, like so, if I were to save a grand, what could I buy with a grand? I could buy a PlayStation Four and an Xbox One, and yeah. still have spare money. And yeah, you know, like the good Xbox One with the Connect. Yeah. And I would just go slightly over a thousand. I could get both of those for a thousand dollars. You're right. You're yeah. So, like, the, I mean, that's the difference between buying my like I lowered it down to two laptops last year. That thing in the blade, and the blade was I was just like, it's not worth the extra eight hundred dollars. It's not worth the extra eight hundred bucks. You see, the computer that I'm getting, the one that I ultimately decided on, is still a really good computer, and it's only a pound heavier than the uh, Ghost. Yeah. It's one pound heavier, and the only reason where that pound comes from is the fact that it has an installed CD drive. Yeah. And I was gonna get an external drive anyway, so. Yeah. So. It's stupid. The CD drives are, uh, they're like, they're doing like the Apple thing where they're just throwing away the disk drive. Because well, to be honest, a lot of things these days are digital. Like you think about it, on my computer, it's like a lot of things last time are I used digital. my CD drive a long time ago. I mean, like I I use my CD drive literally once when I get a new computer, and that's to burn all my CDs to it. Then I hug. Then I'm just like, okay, this is never getting used again. You see, I use mine though, because I have games that I have that I bought off. Uh, and their CDs still, and then I could download them, but why when I already have them? Well, I mean, I mean, like, do, what games are they? Like Sims. Okay, because I know... You have to put them in every time you play the game. Because I know uh, Warcraft, or like the old Blizzard games, like StarCraft 1 and Warcraft 3, you register them to your Battle.net account, and then you don't have to put CDs anymore. You just re-download them. Yeah, it's you nice. can't do that. Actually, it's no, how I did my, uh, game goes that. the manga program. Oh. The hell? It's cool to be calling. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, what I was thinking was is that no? I could go yes. CD... Bro, get the hell out of here. Damn it. Yes. Um, what I was thinking was that if I could have, I could have multiple computers without CDRs, but I just have one external that I just share among. Also, them. I yeah. want to use my computer as like a DVD player. Yeah, that's, that's because like I'm gonna get a TV and I'm gonna bring it with me to the dorms, and I have so many movies. I have ridiculous amount of movies. I have oh, Blu-ray goodness. and I have regular DVDs. So I'm gonna get a Blu-ray player installed in my computer so I can hook it up to my new TV. And I don't know if the microphone can hear the hear Tori over the dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, hopefully. At least it stopped for the moment. I'm, I'm seriously considering having a no phone or game system rule during these podcasts. Hey, I haven't been... I know, you've ultra- been focused. Which is weird, considering yeah. I'm only garbage at this. Yeah. My, so. my DS died. Yeah. <laughs> Glad that happened. Hey, uh, you act like I wasn't paying attention. I know. Um... Jeez, At least it's not like when Joe was playing Burnout on my PSP and just had no focus whatsoever. <laughs> Some people don't have focus. What you gonna do? Bronson's pretty decent at it yeah. because uh, what he would do is he would like be doing he would be playing an MMO in the middle of it. 
Yeah, I remember and what... I just thought to myself, and Bronson's talking, and he's slightly distracted, but you can hear that... Yeah. Because you're mashing one, two, and three. And yeah, so what, what would happen is we'd record on Scripted Exodus Wednesday nights, uh, and I'd be playing WoW or Diablo while we're recording, and I'd do a pretty good job multitasking. You know, I remember when Diablo 2 first came out. I played it. I must have been like 10 or something like that. I was really little. Yeah, they give you like a one, a two. So yeah, I don't good. have the new. Ex- I don't have. The I don't have it either. It's cool. I, and, and like people are like, it's like, ooh, it's really good, and I'm like, that's nice. We're gonna be doing six to minute access to that game when it comes out for PS4. John's gonna buy it, and we're gonna bring it over. Oh, okay. He recently got an Xbox One. Yeah, he did. He just been playing Titanfall and Killer Instinct, the two games that matter for that system. <laughs> well, actually, um, I don't know. I've heard there's. There's a lot of good yeah. stuff for it. Uh, Dead Rising 3 is an alright game, but that DLC is fucking amazeballs. Just so weird and crazy and fun. And it's co-op. Um, yeah, I don't know. I played a little bit of Valiant Hearts, which we were supposed to do 6 minute access of. But, okay. you know, we love, techni- we love technical problems here. Um, so, that happened. And then... Um, That's okay, next week, right? Yeah, next week we're going to have a four-hour session. That's not fun at all. Yeah, that's really <laughs> shitty if you've ever done it. Anthony and I did did one last year on Saints Row, Dive Kick, and what else came out that week? Saints Row, Dive Kick. It was Saints Row, Dive Kick, and something else. Back to back to back to back. And it was very shitty. So We yeah. got really tired at the end. Yeah. That, oh, even, Madden. It was even, Madden. Even our commentary started falling off the cliff. Yeah, so next week it'll be Valiant Hearts. What was it? It was I had some. I had Valiant Hearts, uh, Okami, and, uh, something, yeah. and something else planned. Um, oh, and then the week after that, we're gonna be doing New Super Mario Brothers U, which, in the same vein as Mario Party of Mario Kart. Does it's, it ruin friendship? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, Mario games, especially, awesome. uh, could, especially because of whoever has the Death Note, as I like to call it. <laughs> awesome. Your tablet. The tab, the tablet controller. You can draw platforms for people to jump on. And you're supposed to help them. No one does. Everyone's a dick. Uh, I'll draw platforms. I'll uh, be nice. Okay. Well, then you are, you are... I think it's more funny when... You are think, a kind owner of the Death Note. She's going to erase it as soon as you, you know, before you even get up to it. Yeah. She'll draw it and she'll erase it. Yeah, we'll get to the top of the flag. I she'll... said I'll draw it. I didn't say I'll leave it there. See? Exactly. <laughs> well, the, I don't know if you can get rid of it. Huh. We'll huh. have to find that out. That would be funny as shit, though. You could just draw it up like, hey, there you go. Oh, wait, it's gone. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no, it's just, <laughs> no it would be even funnier if we're about to hit the top of the flag while she draws a platform. Just, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, you guys need to watch the two best friends play that game. It's hilarious. Um, just fuck each other over. Tire time. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, supposed to help each other. Yeah, right. They call the, Nintendo. You're so funny. You think we're all friends? Yeah, Nintendo like thinks, oh, all this stuff in Mario Party will just be funny and they'll laugh it off. Same thing with Mario Kart. You no. have to understand though, Mario Party's evil. So is Mario well, Party. Yeah. Mario we, we Party's had, evil. Mario it? Party's worse. Mario Party was two oh, and a half hours of us constantly swearing. swearing. I, I watched and listened to that. Glad I can reinforce mm-hmm. your hate for Yoshi. Yeah, fuck you. Just I hate Yoshi, and that makes me hate him even more. You see, we should play Mario Party 7. Mm-hmm. That's the one that I have for the GameCube, which I think is better than the fourth one. I think, the, I think the best one is the second one. The second one is oh, the... the I have that one. The second one? I just remember this cart so gold there, there, game where you do this and it just... So there, there's a reason it. that we haven't done any N64 games. It's because our capture unit for those is not that thing. Where we're, well, it's in this bag now. The reason that it is that we... Because we can't use that because it doesn't have composite hookup. Which I'm asking Nick that the... So we're trying to get a second capture card so Bremner and John can continue Super Mega Awesome Go Playtime. You see, what we need to do mm-hmm. is we need to get one that can capture N64 games, well, and we need a 60-minute accidents Conquer's Bad Fur Day, because I own it. Well, yeah, like, well, we typically... We could just bring in lots of cartridges. It's we, just like, let's play... <laughs> let's play Bug's Life. 
I don't know play, what this is. Let's, let's, let's play, do it. Oh, let's play, let's play Let's play 007. Let's play Clay Fighter 63 First. and a third. Wave Race 64. Let's play Mario Kart 64. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium. Killer Instinct. I have Pokemon Stadium. So we actually were going to do a joke for Killer Instinct, and we might do it for Killer Instinct Season 2. Don't say it. Okay, well, don't, don't do yeah, right, I'll tell actually, you. It's already been blown out. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> so we might as well talk about it. What we were going to do when the Xbox One came out is do 60 minute access of Killer Instinct. Just, we just didn't know which one. Just which one. Because so we, we, so have, we have the title screen and the picture be the Xbox One version, and then do the opening of the Xbox One version, and then when the actual footage comes out of us playing, it's like it's, the it's Killer Instinct S- Gold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I. Do 007 Goldeneye. Killer Instinct That's Gold. Good. That actually Goldeneye was fun, actually. For Gold, yeah. Goldeneye for the time was really good, but Quinn and I played it at 1-Up at New Year's. That game does not hold up at all. Oh, I know it doesn't. It's going to be great. Perfect Dark holds up a little better, though. Yeah. Perfect Dark's all right. Still. Killer Instinct I have a lot. lot of N64 games. I have... We can do Banjo-Kazooie. I think I have about We can do 10. Zelda. Z- uh, Diddy Kong Racing Ocarina 16. Do you have the Zeldas? I do. Because my mask. M- both of mine flew out of a third story window. And I have both of mine. They're fine. They are in perfect condition. My Mario Kart sixty four is in perfect gold. condition. <laughs> I like gold. Yeah. Gold cartridges, you know. <laughs> oh, I know. You know, Conquer's, gets to do. <laughs> Conquer's is like <laughs> I do, one actually. of the hardest games to find. Conquer, yeah, uh, it is rare. Um, it's yeah, like we, 40 bucks when you do find I, it. I remember playing that game on the Xbox online. See, but the Xbox version is terrible. It's the same game. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's a prettier version of the same game with different they voice actors. the voice actor for the Great Mighty Pooh. That's the, Don't do that! That's the only thing that's wrong with that. In fact, everything else they improved. Didn't it, they, like, censor it, too? That's optional. You turn it on and off. And I actually think the bleeps are kind of funny, but... You shouldn't censor Conkers. <laughs> well, no. Giant poo monster. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you guys water. finish Okami, you should do that games campaign. It's great. Fuck no. no look, we are taking a long fucking break from Super Mario Awesome Go Playtime. Like, like, and the next game we're doing is the third Penny Arcade. Or no, the, the, yeah, we're doing the third Penny Arcade a second time. New Game Plus. No, uh, we're doing the fourth Penny Arcade. And then, because the third one ended on a cliffhanger. And I'm sure all the viewers want to find... Actually, that one ended... That Well, that one finished, we still have viewers. So, because it was not... Okami? 40 hours long. Versus the Okami, which is 40 hours long. Uh, is it currently 40, 40 hours long, or it will be 40 hours? It will be 40 hours. It's finish. starting to look like it. We already spent like 30 hours on it already or something. And we still got one super long dungeon and uh, a boss rush and a final boss. I don't mind super long dungeons. If there's something that's as interesting as, say, Hyrule Castle and Twilight Princess, that was actually all right. I really love... Uh, really super long dungeons of games that I really desperately just want to finish to just... I mean, it's not that Okami's bad. Like, these, this is a really well-designed game. Yeah, it's a game. really it's a good fun. game that's really funny and very nicely translated. It, it's just, it, if, if I was playing it at my own pace, I'd be playing it, like, ten hours a week and be done in a month. Yeah. yeah. But we're playing it an hour to two hours at a time. Yeah. It's been over a year now. It's been over a year. And because we honestly, take, we and talk. honestly, we've learned our lesson with this game. Yeah. Chrono Trigger was a very good starter. Chrono Trigger was perfect. Like, we found that, like... The longest we can go is about 24 hours. That was Chrono Trigger. Or if it's a game that we know we'll make decent, consistent progress. Yeah. Which we didn't with this one. Yeah. Like... This one, we just suck up the game so much that's like, okay. Uh, whoa. You get dead tree every time. Yeah. That's Why sad. is that plugged in when the power is out? That's not... Uh, also, it's plugged into my laptop, so it could just run off that thing's battery. Uh, since you guys, yeah, I remember that one time I was charging my phone off of my battery laptop, which is kind of hilarious. I don't think Kyrie understands what not having power means, because she just sent me a text saying, "Since you guys don't have power, anyone want to Skype or play Animal Crossing? I can't you... play Animal Crossing without internet." <laughs> Skype. And I, or Skype. <laughs> you can Skype off your phone. I could. Well, it's gonna drain a hell of a lot of battery, though. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like. <laughs> Play Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm like, yeah, like, yeah great. just let me drive down to the McDonald's so I can get on their Wi-Fi and we'll play Animal Crossing. 
That sounds like actually, a sad you know what? Life. 3DS. Actually, for some reason, 3DS could never connect to any public Wi-Fi. I don't know. It's I don't because they have that second screen where yeah, you have the, the, to the, that um, you can never get accept past. it, and you need to go on the 3DS's browser in order to do that. Okay. Uh, I know that because dorm Wi-Fi with the 3DS. Okay. 3DS. I don't know why they put a web browser in the 3DS. It even confound. Actually, I understand if they put a, a web browser. In. I just don't know why they have to make it a multitasking thing uh, as part of the operating system. Because it's so slow and has so little memory that you can't use it for any regular internet purposes. God damn. You just f- use it to look up game stuff. Though. Yeah. Uh, I know, but it's so slow. That I know, like, it's easier to uh, just go on your phone. That's the yeah. one thing the Vita, that's one of the things the Vita does better. Is well, both. yeah, that's because the Vita's far more powerful and is actually able to do it. Whereas Nintendo's like, hey, operating system, you only got 32 megabytes of RAM. Good luck <laughs> loading your web page. Challenge accepted. Yeah. Every 3DS everywhere. 32 yeah. megabytes of RAM. I think that's less than what the GameCube. Yeah. Um, but they locked that out for the OS, so. Yeah, I don't know. I've actually been playing my Vita a fair bit recently uh, because of Muramasa. Um, I don't know. Like, I, we could have lengthy conversations about the Vita, and we have. Oh, we've had for a long time, especially the first few days, the first few couple of years that came out. I, I I put it in the same category as the Dreamcast and the GameCube of just, like, and the Neo uh, Geo of just, like... I think maybe more Dreamcast than GameCube, because with the GameCube, anybody can easily name the big big games on it. So yeah. Smash Bros. Melee, uh, Wind Waker... Well, that's like any F-Zero. Nintendo system except the Virtual Boy. Yeah, whereas with the but, Vita, it's it wasn't like we're going to say, oh, it has Uncharted, it has... And it does. And it, it does kill Zone. Persona. And, you know, yeah. it was... What the hell was that? It was an ant that crawled in my arm. <laughs> okay. Bug. Okay. Yeah. Hide from the bug. I remember one time a fly landed on me and I screamed like a little girl on air. That was nice. I remember we, we had a frog outside your window. That was funny. I had... Yeah, or whatever sounded like a frog. Uh, that was funny, yeah. That was funny. Um... Trying to think of what else we had. Yeah, uh, uh, Vita ha- Vita has a lot of really good indie hits: Guacamelee, Sound Shapes, Thomas Was Alone. Also, if you have a PS3 or Vita, Thomas Was Alone is cross by, and it is a dollar this weekend. One dollar. One fucking dollar. It's like, like a penny. It doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, like that game. That's too much money for me. That was one of my top ten games of last year. It's one of my favorites. Thomas was alone was so good. It's about shapes that are really people. That's weird. It's weird. It yeah. is block. Forgot his name. Yeah. It's top man. See, we should sixty minute access that game. Or now it's sixty minute access. We already did sixty minute access that game. We should super mega awesome go play time that game because it's two hours. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm actually concerned that just turn Super Mega Awesome Go Playtime into like, here are these like two... Really, really short three, two hour games. Two to eight hour indie games. Like, because Penny Arcade fits that bill. Um, Thomas Was Alone fits that bill. Just just get Anthony really just all on all these indie games. I'll just let it do it. For some reason, I just don't click with indie. Go- Gone yet. Home was about two hours long. Yeah, see, I wanted to buy that game, but it's, like, $16. Yeah, you should have, like, that game I paid... Because I really wanted to play that game. I thought it looked really cool. I, pl- I paid 10 for it. Was it good? Yeah, it was. I, it made my top 10 last year. Because um, I really wanted to play that game. Yeah, I mean... But it's so short. I was just reading about it, and people were like, it's not worth... Like the twenty six dollars that you pay for it. Yeah, I, I paid ten for it. That seemed about right. Um, though if I had ten dollars, I'd choose between that or dive kick. Dive kick. Dive kick every time. Whereas the game says dive kick. Oh, dive kick so yeah. much. It's coming to PS4 soon. They're porting it. Awesome. Which yay! Now John and I can play dive kick. Uh, How's the battery life? Yeah, that's still fine. You guys should play dive kick. I ain't playing no dive kick. You should play dive kick with us. I ain't playing but no it, dive you'd kick. You'd be beautiful at it. It's, oh, it is a fun ass game, especially with other people. 
So good. I like games that can actually do combos. That game was so That game fun. has so much hidden depth in it. It's right, sure. Great. I jump, I kick. Yay! Timing yes. that jump. Timing, and, kick. and then you have different types of kicks or different characters. I want combos. And if, and if you get a headshot. Combo breakers. No. If you want combos, <laughs> then play I can imagine and that is an expansion in the future. You, it's either combo, it's like combo, and it's, it's breaker. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, combo breaker. And you have to time that one little spot that you can break the combo, and that's just it right there. And if you want combos, then play Killer Instinct because you will get the most combos. I did like a sixty hit combo in that game once. It was awesome. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Ultra combo. I love the new one so much. It's just like they took kill. They they perfectly said okay. The killer instinct of the nineties would not work in twenty. You know, yeah, and 14. the thing I realized that my complaint that it didn't seem like killer instinct gold. It's like wait a minute. If I wanted killer instinct gold, I would play killer instinct gold. Instinct gold. gold. Yeah. yeah so like, you know, it's like they're reinventing it for the modern age, and if I don't like it, well. Yeah. That's just a matter of taste. Yeah, I just kind of feel like the music isn't as... I don't... Well, I, I it, doesn't, don't know. it doesn't sound as punchy as the old one. No, it's still really good, though. It's, it's still good. It just doesn't sound as punchy as the old one, which was, like, one really awesome rock song, whereas the new one's kind of, like, trying to do this whole new, um... I don't know, rhythm-based thing. Well, what I liked is, like, how they still, like, on the main menu, it does the build-up. And yeah, then, but, and then you but press the, start, but the like fucking I said, like screen I, lights on fire. And well, just like I said, starts. I prefer like the old one, which was like a build up to a giant rock song, whereas the new one's more like a bunch of rhythm based stuff. So, I don't know; it still, it still has kind of a rock vibe. I too, know, but though. the intro was. Eh. I don't know. We'll we'll boot it up after this. We'll get the also, the old one was just really cool because yeah, whenever it powers up. Because fuck, <laughs> that's right. Because. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I like the old one because the way they built it up was so cool with the exploding rare, rare logo. It just flowed. Yeah, down. that would awesome. new, Whereas the new one is just like, start screen, push start. Yeah, the, the, the screen lights on fire and it explodes. Yeah, but the old one lit up on fire and exploded the rare logo. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, do you, well I mean... Yeah, Little so things like that I care about because it just uh, kind of, that, that's what makes the difference between, you know, what what's like, oh, that's just cool versus... Wow, that's just awesome. Well, so speaking of the new Killer Instinct, uh, Evo's going on right now, and they unveiled uh, the new one of the new characters for season two, and that is Maya. So we know. Hey. T- yep. So they now the new, two of the eight new characters are TJ Combo and Maya. Hmm. So. Hmm. Uh yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's. I guess I want them to bring back Tusk and Cinder because those those are the ones I really liked out of the out of the original. You play? What did you guys play in the original Killer Instinct? I played as a uh, Jago all the time. Okay, so he's all already, he, the time. He's, he's already there. He's already there. So you're fine. What yeah. about you? Cinder. Okay, so Cinder, you're still waiting on him. Which they already have Glacius and Fulgore. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't put Cinder the, the first time you made the game. Well, th- I mean, because they knew they were going to be doing seasons of this. I'm going to give them a season. Well, Aren't the Dive Kick guys working on it now? Yeah, the Dive Kick guys are making that game now. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Dave oh, Lay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to show... Hey, you know what the Dive Kick ma- guys made before they made Dive Kick? What? The PS3 and Xbox 360 version of Street Fighter 3. So shut your whore mouth, Bremen. Yeah, still not buying it. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> dive kick is awesome. Bre- Bremen is against dive. It's kick. a lot like how, you know, it's like oh, you should buy Star Wars: The Old Republic, it's made by the guys who made Mass Effect and Dragon Age. But, although I imagine, although that's different studios, I know, but still, yeah. like, Just because the names. These says, are literally the same dudes. Yeah. Still, uh, uh, that, that just because there's the same studio doesn't necessarily mean... No, but it's the same people. It's not the same studio. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So you played Cinder. You played Jago. I played um, Tusk a lot. So You ever played the original Killer Instincts? Nope. No? I'm not super into fighting games. I just remember my Killer Instinct copy was uh My glitched. experience with fighting bugged. games is like playing... Mortal Kombat in the beginning of this dorm uh, semester last year to meet everybody and just like 
looking at how brutal it is when they get their spines torn out. I mean, fighting games I'm not super, super experienced in. I played some of the really, really old ones, like on the original PlayStation and things like that, but... John and I have fight sticks. a long time ago for me. We have, John and I are really into those games. We have fight sticks. We teach how to get really good at them. So can Bremen for certain games. Certain oh. games. I don't really play Lava Killer Instinct, though. I play Street Fighter or... I mean, give me a King of Fighters or Dead or Alive, and I'll do it. I'm not big on Tekken. Of, I don't like. I don't like Tekken. I don't like King I of Fighters. Like Tekken. You don't like Tekken? No, it's I fucking Tekken widely Tekken. popular. It's so slow. No, it's not. It's so <laughs> slow. No, it's not. You're Virtual slow. Fighter is slow. Virtual Fighter is also too slow. No, Virtual Fighter is way too slow. Actually, Tekken's, that was one of those fighting Tekken's games. Tekken's fast paced. That's one of those fighting games I used to play way back in the day. There was a PC port of Virtual Fighter, and it was one of the games that came with the first ever video card. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what my that video card was. It came with Virtual Fire, and I just remember, gee, this looks really polygonal. <laughs> uh, That's me, five years old, or something like uh, that. I remember, like, well, I mean, it's actually slow compared to the games I actually really like, which is like the Blaze Blue Persona Four Arena, and then I also really like Killer Instinct, which all those games are super fast. And then I play Tekken, and it feels like the characters are in pudding. They're just you know, they're playing the game and pudding. Yeah, they. That's why I like Dead or Alive. It's also pudding? fast. Yes, like, Dead or Alive. Yes, like just super. Just uh, Tekken's more. It really is a lot of technique on there. there oh, so. I'm not dying. There's a lot of technique behind it. Like I can a lot of see games, that. A lot of games can have technique. It's just but because so people try to do air juggles in that game, it's a lot harder than what it is in Dead or Alive. Which I actually like Dead or Alive because it's fast. Yeah, that one is fast paced, which is what I like. Dead or Alive has the world's worst tutorials. Because I, I really. I, because I, I learned fast. Well, I, I played Dead or Alive 4 with, on the, you know, obviously that's on the 360, and I just remember trying, it's like, you know what, I need to get better at this game because I really want to pass it or something. And I just went through tutorials and I'm like, it's, your, it's easy. Your brother and I played a lot of Dead or Alive on Vita well, when I was working Yeah, I guess if you're not really, if you guys don't really play a lot of Tekken or Virtual Fighter, you can't, Yeah. some some of the moves you'll be, you'll be confused to do. But, yeah. You know, for the most part, it's fun. What are you doing? I had to look at your shirt. It's, it's Lydia's the, convinced that the only kind of shirts you wear are t-shirts of a plain color with words on them. That's going to be my next shirt, yeah. I'm going to find the next one with a good text on it. Yeah, I'll put it. <laughs> so I had to see what he was wearing. So today. it's half right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, so... I haven't find I haven't found one with the good words on it yet, so I'll find one. Now. Because you know, Lydia's like, "What? You don't want to hang out with Mister right now? Cause you have that <laughs> shirt, and she's seen you like four times, and like three out of the four times you were wearing that shirt." Oh, I see. So you don't want to hang out with Mister right now? No, no, we can. <laughs> <hang>. we can. <laughs> it's conversational. Time What's your other one, Mister right now? And then, uh, you know, what's it called here with me and with yeah. a question mark. <laughs> Oh, you with you and me, you yeah. and me with a question mark. Yeah. I need to pick up line. The shirt already says it. <laughs> and Anthony, you don't even need to pick up line either because I'm just gonna go up to random girls that you find interesting. Have with. you met Anthony? Yep. Walk <laughs> off. I'm gonna start wearing a suit when I do it too. Ne- Gotta be Bri- uh, Barney. Yep. <laughs> next, by the way, next convention we're going to, all suits, suits all around. Yeah. That's kind of high maintenance, if I'm honest, considering how tired Wait, we are. How, how we can, we can Snapple's change. going to be cooler, though, right? It's not going to be a, a summer anymore. It's gonna no, it's going to be October. Yeah, I won't be here. Wait, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, you just said you were going to It's go. October in the Grand Sierra. I'll be in San Francisco. What convention? Yeah. Snafu Oh. Not it's the only a four-hour drive. It is a four-hour drive. I'm trying to get us a panel at Snafu, which I still need to talk to those people. Um, should probably get on that. Yeah. I'm going to talk to the shirt, the dude that prints shirts and see if he can uh, arrange a deal. And, like, maybe we'll, we'll all suit up for our panel. be great. I won't be here. Yeah, I know. You will, will sadly not be. But John, Previn, Anthony, and I will. We'll all be all suited up for our panel. you have to get someone else to be the camera person. <laughs> we need a tripod. We do need a tripod. We need a real camera. Yeah, that would help too. Because the one I used, I borrowed. So, so I, I've said this before. With my tax return next year, I'm probably going to be invest in a really good camera for the site. So, I'm mm. going to get a beast tax return. She is because she fucked up doing her taxes for filing for work and filed zero, which means they take more out. It so, seems like that shouldn't be, but uh, I'm just going to let it. Well, go. the the number's supposed to be how many dependents you have. I don't have any. 
Yeah, so they're going to take more out. If you have children, you actually get a bit of a tax break. A bit. Until they turn 18. Yeah. I'm 20 almost. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't have kids. I hate children. <laughs> Me too. Um, I want none. Don't worry, you're not the only one I know who says that. Yeah. Nick's like that too. Nick says the same thing. <laughs> I say the same thing. Pretty sure Kyrie says the same thing. Bremen, you already have a kid, so. What? Yeah, he has a kid. <laughs> you know? I didn't know that. He, he is a father. I guess it makes sense since he's 35. He does not look 35, though. Yeah, he doesn't. He looks... I was like, he late 20s. Like you're like 20, nope. 30, 24. <laughs> yeah, like I said 26. That's what I said. Um, like maybe 10 years less than you actually are. Yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. Actually, yeah, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Um, Brown's going to age the slowest out of all of us. Brown's is going to get lots of gray hair. I'm going to get lots of gray hair. I live high stress, so I'm going to die from a heart attack. <laughs> pretty you know early in my life oh, I, I'm, I'm losing the weight so what about me hmm, we don't know I don't know like average life <laughs> probably about you, yeah. <laughs> you, see, you seem relatively healthy and low stress so girls also live longer than guys generally speaking slightly yes mm-hmm. yep. slightly um no I'm, I'm in the process of losing weight so I'm down 5 pounds so far woohoo 85 to go woohoo <laughs> Hey think, uh, hey, think about it. Your life it. will be so much easier when, you, when you're when you way less. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I already see the benefits of eating relatively healthy, so... You need to eat even more healthy. Yeah. Yeah, because when, I, pizza. because when I... pizza. Because when I eat, like, yeah. crap, I just really feel it. I'm just like, oh, I'm not feeling too good. Yeah. But... That's what happens when I eat an entire bag of Fritos. Or, not Fritos, uh, those potato chips. Lays. Yeah, those lays. If I eat, like, I eat. Dirty when I start eating a bag of lays, I eat it all at once, and then I really feel kind of ill. Well, for there's the your day. issue. Hey, you shouldn't it's very, eat a full bag of potato chips by yourself. But I, but I, but I did. It, it doesn't happen very often. It's very rare, but when I do, it's like, yep, I regret doing this. See, I don't eat chips. I don't drink soda. I don't like most sweets. I don't. You're eat, lucky because, like, I yeah, am not a sugar guy. I don't. I'm not a sugar guy either. Yeah. Get you sick. If I can put hot sauce on something, I will. But as spicy far as food is nice, sweet though. shit goes, I just no. I like spicy food. But obviously, you need lots of water or milk too. No, <laughs> no. You go away. I, I, I mean, I, I, I will typically have water with it, but that's a stupid thing to have with you when you're eating spicy food because it actually inflames the water um, yes mm. it makes it worse makes the burn worse it's either milk or bread that you need to get rid of that R- bread uh, sorry um milk really makes the spicy go yeah. away milk or bread dairy products actually the biggest factor in me losing weight is i've cut like 90 percent of dairy out of my diet well yeah dairy and um grain like bread and shit like that is really bad i for also you. haven't been eating much bread either really bad for you yeah. which is sad because i like love cheese well you could start bread. yourself do it like the supermodels. Uh, <laughs> Stick your finger in there. I don't rec- recommend bulimia to people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Not, I wouldn't recommend that either. <sighs> Eating disorders is not good. At all. Oh. Bulimia, anorexia. All fun stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I, 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 I remember in my high school health class, we had to see a video on eating disorders... And it was, you know, it was a fictional story type style. And it was like watching a horror movie. Of course. <laughs> it, it was so weird. Did you, you took health in high school, right? Yeah, I did. did you, do you remember was, this video? Was it like some 80s video where she was just she, like binge eating and then just vomiting did, it all Yeah, like she, she like day. drove out in the woods in her car and like ate like 12 boxes of Oreos. Yeah, that was... Oh. Wow. Yeah. I just remember when I was in elementary school, like when I first started taking share. I must have been in third grade or something like that. Either third or fourth grade. You started in fourth, so. Mm-mm, you start in third. We started in fourth. Yeah, they made it sooner. What? Why? Because kids are going through puberty sooner. It's, it's all the hormones they make us eat in our food. The really? Great. Right? Yeah. I don't get it. It's true. Great. great. Like, little girls going through puberty at 11. It's super weird. Mm-hmm. But 
I was in, I must have been in either third or fourth grade. I think I was in third grade, to be completely honest with you. And I just remember there was this video explaining AIDS, and they had, like, a house to explain that was your body. And AIDS virus came in and attacked your T-cells that were, like, these ant things. And I don't know, they were in really weird ant costumes. And it was just the weirdest video ever to try to explain <laughs> AIDS to children. I remember, like, <laughs> in, in health class in high school, they also showed god damn it they also showed this video about why you shouldn't drunk drive and like show all these pictures in like the Rio Nevada area of people just in the worst car wrecks no just okay being, that's just driver's being, ed well, I've never took driver's ed okay driver's ed is like a week of literally them just showing you videos about car crashes and telling that you that sounds pretty sweet that. <laughs> It's pretty rad. It's like nine to five, <laughs> nothing but car crashes for a week. That's and then, not... like, at the end, they show you, like, the most brutal ones of, like, the smart cars that got chopped in half, and you can see blood and guts everywhere. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, that sounds kind of kick ass, actually. But I'm like, go take driver's head now. <laughs> it's like, sir, why are you here? You already have a license? You pay $90 to look at dead people. Uh, well, <laughs> what's no, you're what's the problem with this? I don't see an issue here. Yeah, you pay ninety dollars for driver's ed. Jeez. I don't remember my driver's ed at all. I didn't take driver's ed. Like I just started driving with my dad. I and think my I took it online. Did you? Were you over eighteen when you got your license? No. Oh, you're. I took it online. To I think. Oh well. I think I took yeah, it I went to Spanish Springs High School. I stayed with one of my mom's friends for a week, and it was I was like fifteen, fifteen and a half almost, and it was it was such a weird experience for me. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was. <laughs> I like. I want to take that class as an adult. Just like, sir, you are. Uh, you you are, are a person with a clean driving. You're, record. you're 24 with a perfect driving record. Why are you doing this? I want to say more perfect. See what I can learn. I just want to learn more. Yeah. I don't teach you anything about actually driving. Just saying. Well, so our so. health class was the same thing. This is what you do when you drunk drive, and like this one was basically these people were just a smear on the windshield. <laughs> It was, no. it was, it was so gross. No. That's how it was. Yeah. Actually, I think there might be, from, from what, how you guys are responding right now, I feel like you guys are more fascinated about how this car could suddenly be crumpled into something that looks like a bunch of, a heap I, of metal, basically. I, I'm more, it's like a uh, companion cube. Yeah. <laughs> the companion cube is people. So, as we all know, it's like this one time I remember I saw this one picture of how this Ferrari. It makes me really depressed. That kind of reminds me of this one time I saw a picture in this magazine that I used to have uh, where you saw this Ferrari Enzo just literally. Just remember, guys, cubed smart cars with people inside of them are companion cubes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, God. Uh, I thought I want to play Portal again. (laughs) No, like, uh, the thing that I'm fascinated by is like. How does a human being turn into, like, just paste on a windshield? You know, let's dashboard? not let's not try to test yeah, this theory and find out. that is not cool. <laughs> no, you know what would be worse right now is if you start playing Nincat and we start talking about this. <laughs> it would have been so awful. It would have been perfect. It was it's already great. bad enough that you'd play Just that. play some sort of happy, upbeat music. It'll be it was already bad <laughs> enough that you were doing that in Metal Gear Ground Zeroes, okay? Well, well I mean, so... What, what have, I'm actually thinking that's how we're going to open next Game Expo. Mm. It's like, are the doors closed? All right, good. <laughs> uh... Best quote from one of the... So the best quote didn't come from our panel. It did come from the OC Remix one. When Shaq gets hit, he looks like Charles Barkley. <laughs> yeah. Just play, like, Aqua or something. Barbie uh, Girl. There you go. Barbie Girl <laughs> over car crashes. <laughs> Guys, no. That is... <laughs> I have Barbie Girl on my phone. I do. What's a, like, so there has to be a messed up scene in that new Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. Like, like, there's going to be. I mean, if that's just the prologue. So, I mean, I'm thinking we get footage of that and play, like, happy pop songs over it. Do it! Do it! Play, like... That's how we'll do the first ten minutes. Do, like, Cartoon Heroes. Do, like, Cartoon Heroes or, like... We, so... Toy Box, Just so you know, we're totally ripping this joke from Paul and Storm, because they do a similar one where, um... They do a similar one where they do a TED Talk about comedy, 
And they played Benny Hill over those Sarah McLaughlin fucking SPCA, SPA, yeah. SPCA dead the, dogs and yeah. cats commercials. Yeah, they play that Benny Hill. They play uh, a bunch of stuff, man. Keyboard Cat over it. It's really like fucked sushi. up. What? No, what I does sushi s- have to do with anything? I'm really? hungry. Sushi. I mean, yeah. don't I'm get me wrong. Now. Sushi's like my favorite food, but it doesn't have to do with anything. Do you want to go to Juicy's? Because I actually have a little bit of money for once. Ah, uh, I already said sushi. Okay, fine. <laughs> sushi is expensive. Yeah, for the, you guys. Yeah, I, I can't afford <laughs> it. I can afford it. Don't, yeah. all right. but it doesn't okay. change the fact that it's expensive. It's expensive, but it's all you can eat sushi. I don't like sushi. Well, I don't like sushi either. Sucks you for guys. You guys. Just Fine, we're going to go be Americans and get burgers. Yes, because burgers are great. Burgers are amazing. But Ch- sushi. But yeah, burgers. Yeah. It's okay, though. Japan has one. Nobody can name our 15th president, but every knows, everybody knows about anime. Our 15th president? Yeah. yeah. Who was our 15th president? 16th was Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln, yeah. Who was the 15th? You don't know, do you? No. He's Look. not important. Japan Look. has one. <laughs> who, Japan already won. Who, exactly. is it? who is it? I don't know. That's the no, issue. No, no. <laughs> I know our second president. Yeah, me too. That's very easy, though. Know? Most people don't, though. Really? Yes. They don't know John Adams. Oh. No. They don't know John Adams. The, no. And then it was like Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. And then it was like um, Stonewall Jackson. Yeah, old Hickory. I like him. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he was kind of a badass. He was drunk in the White House, like, 24-7. He's like my favorite president, just saying. He's funny. Uh, so, well, yeah. here's a great question to ask Google if the LTE works. Fifteenth president of the United States. Let's, let's let's see. Let's see if Siri knows. James Buchanan. Oh, hey, that's right. Who People renowned James Buchanan as like the States. worst president to ever happen. Oh. They do. Let me check on that. Oh wow, she's on so cool. The oh. answer is James Buchanan. Oh, huh? it's a like for Google. The way Google does it, it basically just throws it into the Google now search I know. engine. But see, Japan is Siri, one. Whereas Siri actually tries to be. We know more about Japanese about culture than we know what how which presidents are. <laughs> this hey, look, it's boyfriend. <laughs> okay, hey everyone, we're back and we have more guests. They are Andrew, last name English, Austin Ackerman. What's up, guys? I was going to say powers, but they're like... Powers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the chest hair yet. That's his ringtone in my phone. Honestly, <laughs> God, true story. My friend Lydia likes to, names people, likes to name people's boobs. Oh, no, and, I know. Uh, yeah. They, to make, they know Lydia. To make both of our friends uncomfortable, she named one after a friend of ours, Tony, and the other after Austin here. But to make them less uncomfortable, my left move is Tony Stark, and my right is Austin Powers. Okay. My boobs are, are Artemis and Fenetra. Fenetra means window in French. Okay. And my, my, my butt is a Benjamin Button. <laughs> Did Lydia and uh, the no, podcast, <laughs> if it wasn't weird when we were talking about wanting to watch car crashes, it is weird now. Don't worry, Lydia will name your boobs too. It was gonna happen oh, in great. Tahoe, but it didn't get to. Okay, yeah, she can name my boobs. That's fine. She will. Imagine Except for that. she won't say boobs, she'll say boobs. Yeah. Yeah. They're boobs, though. They named each of my three gray, gray hairs. Like, just a twinge of hair. Your three gray hairs? Hello. <laughs> Bronson, you're like, looks like you got your tips frosted in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I have had frosted tips before, though. So. Oh, my <laughs> Jesus. Everyone who was born before, like, 1992. I was born in 1990, and I had frosted tips. Okay. Yeah. So. My brother was born in 89. He had frosted tips once. Don't ever let him tell you I said, said that, though, because he would probably punch me in the face. Well, you just exposed that to 20,000 podcast listeners. Yeah. So. <laughs> what if I just I don't know who he is. Okay. <laughs> Is it okay if I call him Frosty? My brother is, like, almost six foot and covered in tattoos and wears, like, goth boots. It's probably not a good idea. I could take him. I would I, take I, him I'd pay to see that. I think that would end really <laughs> badly on both of your guys'... We'd probably <laughs> both end up in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but I would be laughing all the way in the ambulance, <laughs> provided he doesn't crush my larynx. He would. <laughs> My brother's cool though. Don't I think Bradman could take. You see, my my beer. brother, my brother is he he acts big and tough, but he's actually a massive dork. 
He, he's, so just talk to him about video games and everything will be fine. So he's like every nerd. Yeah. 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 So before you get in the fight, you're like, wait, 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 have you played Skyrim? Yes, he loves Skyrim. Oh my god, he plays it all the time. I'm like, TJ, and he's like calling me, Tori, how do I beat this one thing on Skyrim? And I'm like, TJ, stop. Just Bremen stop. could take him. Bremen knows all kinds of martial arts. Not all kinds. Two, right? Uh, <laughs> three, probably. Three? Is. Didn't we call one of your styles Gangnam? <laughs> <laughs> That would be really humiliating. <laughs> you see, you just try the place, and then while they're distracted, you just high it right in their chair. You gotta do it like the girls, you know, the sexy ladies in the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you got it. There you go. <laughs> and then you do the weird hip gyration, come exactly. around, put him in the ass. There you go. <laughs> so, I gotta say, his follow up videos have been really disappointing. Okay, oh, yeah. what's the one with Snoop Dogg? That's I'm sorry. Uh, Hangover. Hangover, but I... The Gentleman one's so not bad. so bad. Gentleman's okay. I like that one. But that one's all right. It's like the, the hand- start of the decline. Like, Gangnam yeah. Style was here, Gentleman. Well, you gotta understand, Gangnam yeah. Style was, like, so... It's a one-hit thing. Like, yeah. that guy, he got that song... It's like song, Sir Mix a lot. And he yeah. was fucked the second that song hit, like, four million views. Yeah, yeah. it's at over a billion. I yeah, know. It's, it's like a two billion. I it's I a know. two billion. Dude, I was at school in my <laughs> math class, and we had laptops out, and we had finished our work, me and my friends, so we're just sitting there dicking around at our desks, and uh, it was towards the end of the year, I think. And, and teachers uh, don't care anymore. Yeah. So Which we see that teacher? Uh, uh, I had Miss Sellers. Okay. Is she related to a... Well, probably is, uh, but... I was about to say, I wonder if that is Coach Sellers' wife. From Reno? Yeah. I think so. Dude, Coach Sellers is the shit. He's like I'm the coolest right coach. Now, I'm just freaked out how small this world is. No, it's Reno. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, like, Coach Sellers is the one. i got to tell you a story about this dude. So, one, we ended up playing against North Valleys and barely beating them, and we should have fucking destroyed them. We weren't physical enough, is what the coaches said. And they were super pissed. And every Monday we come in, we have a schedule of what to do. And normally there's one, there's conditioning, it's one thing. Yeah. This time it's two. It's one tens, which is 10, 110 yard sprints, and then pushing the sled for 15 minutes. And we're like, why the fuck do we have two conditionings? We won. <laughs> uh, and then, like, we're, we're, we get on the sled, like, coach, why are we doing the sled one tens? And his response was, well, I wanted to have you guys <laughs> run, he wanted to have you guys do the sled. So we compromised. You're doing both. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But anyway, we're taking around in math class on the laptops, and uh, I think it was my friend Eli who pulled up. Uh, of course, it was Eli. Gongnam style, because we're all hearing it's about to hit like one billion or whatever. So we're just sitting there mashing F five, watching the numbers go up, and we're like, and hit it, and hit it. Just so, freaking out. My, I have two great stories about that song. One is at PAX 2012. There was a flash mob of it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that was awesome. In fact, there's a video of it on YouTube. Like, I'm just walking down to the main theater, and just all these enforcers and random people are doing a flash mob of Gangnam Style. That's probably awesome. And then the next time is I had a job interview with GameStop that holiday season. Oh, yes, I remember you telling me this. And they decided to take you to the food court to do the interview. And right as the interview starts, Gangnam Style comes Oh, my off. Jesus. <laughs> do you know how hard it was to keep a straight face during that? Oh, my God. So why do you want to work at this company? <laughs> it's obviously the music. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I, I love hearing the same Mountain Dew ad for eight hours a day, every day. It's oh, so great. Yeah. Have you guys ever uh, Have you guys ever worked there or worked in retail? No. No. I no. Okay, so... Worked Black Friday, right? Oh, oh I'm Jesus. so sorry. Oh, everyone has to work Black Friday for at least a shift. I yeah. know. I was, I want to say it was 5 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m., <laughs> and, which actually is not that bad. It's far better than people have to be there at fucking midnight. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I come there after, like, I come there in, a, like, a devastation break. Like, it looks like fucking... Like, just Hurricane yeah. Katrina happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks just <laughs> devastated. And, like, when I get there, I'm just like, oh, hey, man, what's up? Fucking clean the shelves. <laughs> you know, that's, like, that's what it was. <laughs> and let me tell you, you want to know what the worst shelf in the world is? The DS area. Oh, God. Because yeah. no one ever puts anything back where it's supposed to be. Oh, it's yeah. all supposed to be alphabetical order. And, like, no, that area is the worst. Like, I, could, I spent a fucking hour reorganizing DS games. Oh, Jesus. You know? 
And then, uh, like, PlayStation and Xbox, they go kind of... should go to the one in San Francisco. It's, like, four stories. I would... Fuck that. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, and I no have... floors, just ladders, like a giant library you have to climb up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm in the D section. <laughs> And yeah. you gotta remember, this was my f- my first retail job that wasn't like working for my grandfather doing produce, but like actual retail was in the mall during the holiday season. Okay. Oh god, mm-hmm. yeah, like and man, do you like? I had to explain to this woman like, yes, even though you pre-ordered, we do not have your Wii U for you. I am sorry, but you cannot have this product. They only send us a certain amount. You are just gonna have to fucking wait. You are on the list. Uh, like, just, it's so irritating. Like, that was the Wii, year Wii U launched. With that, that was not bad. I felt I felt so bad for the people who launched for the newest consoles. Oh, the yeah. The Xbox One and PS4. Just, like, that must have been hell getting that together. There's nothing out there yet good enough. And they, they get stuck with all the glitches and the bugs that are in the first so, hiccups of the system. Well, I actually have them both. And this is, like, the best console launch I've ever experienced. Like, I had a 360 at launch, and that thing was fucking the most broken thing ever. <laughs> uh, but, like, PS4 and Xbox One, other than this operating system bug I got on PS4, they've both been really good. Um, and even then, that operating system bug wasn't that bad, because they just, you know, reinstalled it. And it was like, oh, all my saves are in the cloud anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. I just remember when the one launched, uh, someone found a way to get into the debug menu and oh. started posting that picture about how to brick your console, saying it would let you play 360 games <laughs> on your X phone. <laughs> that would be I found that and I was just like, wow, okay, that's funny. What gets me is that they left the debug menu in and all the, you know, consumer models. And it's just something you could put in by accident, digging around, because it's all just messing with the shoulder buttons. And I know when I'm, you know, waiting for a friend to get off the can or something, I'll be sitting there at the menu before we start the game, just mashing buttons on the controller, doing nothing. The reason they do that is because they want to turn retail units into dev kits for people. Yeah. Which is a cool idea. Yeah. Like, oh, you own this Xbox One and you know how to program, well, you have a dev kit. So, you know, like, that's a cool idea. I'm super stoked for that Halo collection. Like, that made it so oh, happy yeah. that Halo 2 anniversary online. Um, I think that's going to sell the console. Probably. Yeah, it sold yeah. John one. It's going to sell the console. Halo probably. sells an Xbox. Yeah. That's been Forza a, sort of <laughs> does the Halo. Gears of Halo, man. That's what sells those. So that's the thing. you got to have those exclusives. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, you're boned. I mean, I bought I bought a PS4 for Infamous, and it was well worth every penny. And I bought I bought an Xbox One for Halo and Killer Instinct. So, you know, I, it kills me that Microsoft owns Killer Instinct. Yeah. <laughs> that game was so good. Um on the upside, I hear like Killer Instinct, the new one. It's is a really, really great good. Game. It's a great game. I love it. It's at Evo this year. I was happy to hear that. Uh, we just talked about how like okay. for season two because they're going in seasons. They've announced two of the eight characters: TJ Combo and Maya. So, I'm hoping that Tusk makes it back. Yeah, that was always my favorite. Um, so, you guys been playing anything recently? That's recent. Uh, well, recently no, I've just been uh, working on a computerized PS2 collection, but my 250 gig is at my uncle's house, so I've got to hold off on that because that has all my, you know, yeah, gear for you know converting it to the PS2 hard drive. I gotta love being able to just find a game online and zip it onto a console <laughs> that's too old. I, yeah, I actually, you know, I'm actually surprised my launch PS2 is still in working order. Like that's like the disk drive makes some weird noises, but other than that, it's fine. Yeah, I've got uh, the old, you know, Fat Boy model, the hard drive on the back. That's it down there. I don't have the hard drive hooked in though. I have the modem. Ah. It's, that was hilarious. Like, oh, you have to buy a modem separately, <laughs> <laughs> and it supports dial-up. That's even better. It supports dial-up or broadband. Yeah. But no, I've just been mostly doing that, and uh, because the the hard drives, well, I tried fixing my uncle's computer with my dad, and it just totally failed because we we're trying to get him off of uh, we're trying to get him off of Vista and getting him seven, mm. but it's just not working. The install is breaking every time, so I tried doing a fresh one on mine because it it, it didn't brick my 80 but for whatever reason it just wasn't loading all the data was still there it just wasn't starting 
So I grab one of my spare 250s, throw that in, install it, and, uh, you know, all my data's there. Okay, well, so... All the important data from the 80, all the 250 stuff is still at my uncle's. So I actually recently want like have downloaded Valiant Hearts like the weekend it came out, played the first hour of it, and then I just haven't been in the mood to go back to it because I get off work and I don't want to do games that require thought. <laughs> like just I'm just like you know it's just because work like sucks like, brain damage out everything out of you. Yeah. Like I just come home and I want to play Madden. Yeah. And not Madden Online where I actually have to like think, strategize and compete. Like you just want to play computers. Just yeah. just. Just destroy a computer. Let's just put 56 points up on the Chargers. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, like, when I'm finished with all the stuff I need to do, I sit there and stare at my TV at the menu with all my PS2 games, and it's just like... I have nothing to play. I don't want to play that because that requires thought. I don't want to play that because I'm constantly going to be getting up to do other stuff, and that's just going to interrupt that. It's just going to... Yeah, like, you know what? I'm going to turn off the PS2 and play Minecraft. That, like, that's that's kind of happening. Like, I, like... I pull up my Steam menu, I pull up the new systems, like, Transistor requires too much thought, Valued Hearts requires too much thought. <laughs> How is Transistor? Really, really fucking I've good. thought about getting it. And you I'm, should. Because yeah. I loved Bastion, that was a gorgeous yeah. game. Yeah, Bastion was super rad. Bronson uh, likes to show me the soundtrack every time you oh, use the car. Oh, it's the best part of the <laughs> whole game. We sing along with the soundtrack on chat sometimes. Yeah, it's, oh man, it's so good. Bastion's great. The same um, voice actor who did uh, voice, Bron, no, Bronson, amazing. <laughs> Bastion did everything for Transistor too. So yeah, the same, same, guy. same team, same everything. Yeah, so I I really liked it so far. It's just that I it's a game that requires you to think a lot. I'm just like no, all these games I have, I really want to play them. Just they require too much thought. So like that's the reason I'm very much considering getting my Warcraft to count back because I'm in the yeah, process of grinding for this legendary cape, and it just requires you to go to this island. And kill these fucking dinosaurs so they have enough reputation. There's grass physics now. Yeah, grass fit. What's up? <laughs> grass Full fit. inch, Sunny's full of wind! Woo! Oh my god. We just broke their ears. Yep. Head <laughs> warning. Uh, so. Uh, so. Nothing is bad. I'm, I'm, ex- so I'm super excited for the new expansion, but uh, up until then, there's not much to do besides finish up. You know, other stuff. So I'm doing the legendary cape quest because I don't have it yet. <laughs> and right now I'm in this part where you have to just grind reputation with this one mm. person. And it just requires go to this island and kill everything. And it's mostly dinosaurs. It's like, what made the dinosaurs extinct? I did. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried Arcade yet? Uh, no. It's the Korean MMO <coughs> that just got recently like put onto North American servers. Uh-huh, a I've, lot of people are saying it's really good. I've I've heard a lot about Wildstar. I've heard I've played DCOU. I thought it was pretty good. I've played DCOU too. I I always end up going back to WoW though because I I've just invested the most time in it. That's what people I know play. That, that's what I hear. I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff, and every once in a while, WoW will get brought up when they're talking about other MMOs, and it's like. Everyone just goes back to WoW at the end of the day. They will play these other MMOs, and sometimes they'll stick with one. Sometimes they'll find something they really like, but a lot of times people will just be like, this is good, but it just reminds me of WoW and makes me want to play WoW. Uh, yeah. Well, well, I've been there forever, make, though. Actually doesn't make me want to play. No, he's the, he's, playing WoW either. Well, yeah, you don't play MMOs, and yeah, you, Final Fantasy, works better for you. But <laughs> for most people I know, like, Quinn right now is playing Wildstar. And he's, mm-hmm. and he's like, this is really good, but what am I going to do when Warlords comes out? I'm going back to WoW. He's trying to force me back in. I am buying his copy of Warlords of Dragon. <laughs> and then I have to play it. I'm not month. playing it. You won't convince <laughs> me on. to buy it. Come on. No. I'll see if I can get Quinn to buy your copy. <laughs> I would be totally Quinn down would not to play do WoW. that. You know how much of a penny pincher that guy is? <laughs> he, he'd be willing to buy my copy, though, because we're bros. So I'll, he'll buy my copy, and then when I have some cash, I'll get yours. Oh god, wow. <laughs> we, 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 you know what? We do. Let's, Bronson. We, we still need a fit. How am I going to be an art school on. student and have a job and play WoW? How am I going to do it? Do what I do? Sleep four hours a night only? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard that? I Starcraft? do that anyway! <laughs> Starcraft got a price reduction, like half off. Oh. The base and the uh, first. Heart of, the, uh, Heart of the Swarm. Yeah. Heart, like, I, I, was, I don't really care what they do with that game anymore because Heart of the Swarm is what I wanted. <laughs> I, I just want the Zerg expansion. That's all I want to play. Um, 
What I love is that uh, they're working on Heroes of the Storm. They're doing their technical alpha, or if, I'm not sure if they changed the name to a beta. Right? I'm very happy that I got into that fight later. It's, I that excited. is so rough to get into. Like, I, I, what was really weird is I, I bitched about it on Twitter. Oh, mm. yes, you did. I, was, <laughs> I saw that. I bitched about it on Twitter. Later that night, I got the invite. <laughs> <laughs> Using that game journalism influence. <laughs> what gets me is that it's Heroes of the Storm, and they've got Heart of the Swarm on uh, StarCraft 2, so people are going like, wait a minute, you've got two games, or a game and an expansion, with the same acronym. What the fuck, Blizzard? <laughs> no, I just I just love that. Just like using my powers of <laughs> Twitter followers for at, for evil. Just like they, and I remember what pissed me off about it too is they posted Muradin, who's one of my favorite characters from Warcraft lore, and I was like, "Wow, I'd love to play that game." Too bad I'm not in the fucking alpha. <laughs> and later that night, <laughs> boom! It's a pretty solid alpha, all things considered. Yeah, hard. like it's. I mean, it's a little unstable, but for the most part, it's really good. I haven't had any stability problems. They could optimize it a little bit better. Yeah. It is an alpha, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, what what card are you running in your machine? Integrated. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? Uh, I'm running this uh, pre-built HP uh, so tower. So it's integrated. I got, yeah, it's the integrated okay. video right now. Theo freaking gave me uh, a power supply and a video card. It's what video a, card? Because I know he has like. It's a GTS 460. Yeah. G- 460, yeah. It's so yeah, like the 460 to the 440. GTX or S? I can't remember if it's X or S. It's probably an right now. Because yeah. if it's an S, it's a 450. If it's an X, it's 460 or above. Okay. With that generation, at least. Okay. I know then. you're on a 550, right? Yeah, I'm a 550 Ti. Yeah, I have, mine is a 765. It's an. X then, so I've got the 460. The problem is, the computer itself is something I got from a friend because he got his upgraded, so it's several years old. It came with Vista on it. I had to upgrade 7. God, Vista, don't get me going. Vista uh, sucks. Terrible. I mean, it's okay, it but is. you have to shut off a lot of things to make it barely okay, and even then, it's like, I'm going to use your hard drive for 5 minutes. Yeah. Why? No good reason, just want to use it. See, when my friend gave it to me, he still had his install on it. So it was up to me and my dad to do the, you know, system restore or do whatever we were going to do with it. Whatever you do, don't go to 8. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, but like, here's my thing on Windows 8. Like, it's garbage? For <laughs> tablets. Is it garbage because you actually used it or is it garbage because everyone else says it? I've used it. It's great for touch screen. If you have it a touch screen, have, it's incredible. But if you don't have a touch screen, it's garbage. You, you want, you know, here's the thing. I would have switched to Max a long fucking time ago if I didn't like video games. Yeah. As much as I do. Yeah. But, like, I, you know, I got to use them when I was taking journalism <coughs> classes in college. And I was My just, school has, like, nothing but Max. And I was, everywhere. and I was like, motherfuck, I would have, like, if I didn't like video games as much as I like fucking video games, <laughs> this switch would have happened fucking forever ago. Windows 8 just has a problem where if you have more than one screen, trying to open up some of the side menus is impossible. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, this is what I gave up. <laughs> I need to check on 8.1. They might have, might have made it a bit They better. fixed uh, the start button issue. The, the start button is yeah. goes back to the start screen. You have to right click for it to... What? Yeah, I, I don't know what Microsoft Why cannot, is. Okay, so Microsoft is an operating system company. Why is their interface for everything terrible? Because, like, last <laughs> no, night... No, no, what I've learned is that they would get it right, then suck, then get it right. Then it's like this That's pattern. what they do. It's like Windows 98 was it's, good enough. Windows then, 9 is going to be great. Can't Windows, wait for it to come out. It comes out next year. Just Windows saying. They fucked up so hard with Windows 8 that it's coming out next year. <laughs> so they pulled the Vista was, again. 98 so, was great. Emmy was absolutely terrible. XP, was, XP was good for his time. Fucking beautiful. XP so, was great. Vista was uh, terrible. Vista was the seven Emmy was great. of our generation. Eight is terrible. <laughs> I remember Windows Emmy. It broke down just laying, just sitting. So <laughs> you started it up and looked at it wrong. So my so the Xbox One has this issue too. That thing's interface is terrible. Like last night, I was like, okay, I want to get into my friends list to see who's online. And I couldn't remember where it was in the <laughs> menu. Oh, so I'm just like, so I just was like, okay, well, this is why I bought it with a Connect. Xbox, go to friends. 
<laughs> like, the connect is the only way around this horrible interface. That's their plan. They needed you to get the connect, so. Well, I That's mean, not a good way. I, <laughs> well, I bought it when, like, the connect was, like. Mandatory. <laughs> mandatory. I bought the Titan. I bought the Titanfall bundle with my tax return, and, and just like, God, this is so horrible. Like, Anthony and I like wanted to, we had to turn off something so we could capture footage. I forgot what it was. It's the HDCP. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't really labeled that, though. I think there was some, but whatever. We had to turn something off in the settings, and I couldn't remember how to get to settings, because it's just like buried under fucking layers and layers of menus. So it was just like, Xbox, go to settings. And it goes. <laughs> Except when it doesn't listen to you. No, that's just... What the, the only time it doesn't listen to me is when I want to turn it on. Like, watch. Oh, wait, we can't. Because power's out. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try it and keep trying it. It's not going to work because the power's yeah, out. Yeah, power's out. So. You're going to try it for like five minutes before we remember the power's out. <laughs> yeah. Xbox on. <laughs> Argument. <laughs> yeah. One thing I do like is that it turns on your TV when you turn it on. Really? Nice. Yeah. Uh, that's actually, actually, Sony's already did that with their PS3. Did it with their devices. Yeah, their with, devices. With, with, with but like Microsoft, it actually, is also- Sam's. They're actually kind of like standardizing HDMI to do that. So you can have like a Samsung DVD player that could. Co- that so, connects to a so Sony TV. The way Microsoft does it is it's through an IR blaster. Oh, so, IR blaster. Okay. Yeah. With the um, yeah, in the case of PS3 with an older Sony Bravia, it's literally through the HDMI cable. Yeah, like the thing with that though is only with Sony Bravias and Sony TVs. This does it with all TVs. It also can control your TV's volume. Nice. So Xbox volume up, Xbox volume down. Um, I tried TV at Theo's house, and it it's was kind of nice because you could just say. Uh, Xbox go Xbox go, go, go well, to ESPN go to TV Xbox go to ESPN because there's like so many the, channels out there on the cable box now the, that's like, the problem with it though is it's slow as shit when it does that like I don't know like it's trying to read all the information off your cable box which is already pulling information from cable which is slow as shit yeah so it's kind of slow and crap you see I'm a dick so I like to go to people's houses and when I find out they've got you know connect and all this stuff set up on voice commands you know Xbox pause. Xbox switch to whatever. I was the best thing in Mass Effect is when Mass Effect 3, if a friend was playing it on Xbox with Kinect hooked up, switch weapons. Just, you'd repeat that. So, I, so here's a fun one to do if you share an Xbox with your family. My mom has a 360 in the living room that she uses. I, I said, here, you need a Netflix Hulu device. I'm not going to use this anymore, especially now that the Halo collection is coming to Xbox mm-hmm. One. Um, I buy all my last gen multi plats on PS3. Just not happen. You can have this. Um, and I and like I have the Smart Glass app on my phone. Oh, oh boy. Boy. I'm at work. Pause. <laughs> Pause play. Go to the main menu. Start a Pac Man. <laughs> I will say oh that app God. worked decently well. Five yeah. seconds later, phone call from home. Someone hacked my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's weird. Uh, I'll, I'll do something. So, I'll do something, something about that later. Yeah. I'll about fix it. it when I get home. Yeah. Oh, Mom, it looks like there's nothing wrong. I think you're just hallucinating. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's yeah. someone breaking into my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That Smart Glass app actually works really well on the Xbox One, too. Does it? It's, yeah. It's, yeah. That, like that, like my my big thing about the Xbox when I first got it and it still is this, it does a lot of really cool stuff that's really impressive, but holy shit, sometimes it just does the basic stuff so wrong. Um, and like I buy, I'm buying all my multi plats on PS4 because that's where all my friends are and they yeah. look prettier. So that's like half the reason I actually got a 360 so. years late because all my other friends had 360, so I could get online. Yeah, like. The only reason I have the Xbox One is exclusives at this point, mm-hmm. yeah, which is fine. Oh, hey, power's back on. Woo! Woo! Xbox on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing! That's because it needs time to boot up the yeah. Kinect. Oh, actually. no, it's, yeah, it won't boot now because that little power strip thing there, turn, if it's white, that means it's, like, in standby range for ah, that shit. It's completely off right But now, now it's completely game. off, so we can yell Xbox turn on all we want. What really pissed me off <laughs> is once was I tried turning on, I was like, fine, whatever, I'll go to my computer and do stuff. Watched someone post that Aaron Paul commercial. I wanted to watch it. He says it my Xbox turns on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about Xbox's stuff, because people will be watching it on their Xbox. 
and they'll be demonstrating the commands, and their Xboxes will go haywire because it's coming through perfectly for some reason, <laughs> but it can't pick up your voice. <laughs> so bad. What time is it? It's almost 12. Got the 11.55. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll finish this up. God damn it. Hey, yeah, did you read a report some Okami? <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> too bad. It's such a good burnt out podcasting for two hours. Um, oh, my God. So. I'm hungry, too, so. Yeah, I want to get food with you if we do come back. We we can do that shit tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, and I think we can get John to work with us tomorrow, too. So. Because yes. you're busy, and you're busy. So. Well, I work, yeah. Yeah. Fucking. This whole job thing. <laughs> Fucking God. Losers. God, yeah. Fucking, Fucking employment. Yeah. Uh, you're one to talk. <laughs> I'm a full time student. Uh, not right now. Still I mean, summer if you want to get technical, right now. I'm unemployed, <laughs> but I'm also technically a babysitter slash gardener. You know, gardening on Saturdays. Yeah, well, I'm a full time student too, Austin. <laughs> I did the full time student thing in work, and it was fucking horrible. So let me tell you about fun. Come back, please. Because Anthony knows I would work from uh, from fucking eight in the morning until two. Then bus up to TMCC and be there until 10 at night and then come home and hate every minute of it. So, especially because the I, bus 15 is the scariest bus on the planet. <laughs> oh, God. Like, it is just Madison. like. Okay, for Reno. Well, yeah. We gotta get going. All right, well, you two, well, you three <laughs> can leave and we'll close up. Or actually, we'll just close up now. Yeah, because I have a eat. Yeah. So, this has been the Gamecast. It's not so triumphant return. Talking about car crashes Wait, and such. <laughs> it was great. Uh, great. Uh, Anthony, can you put a happy music all over our car crash discussion? Do it! <laughs> do like Aqua or something. Or yeah. Toy Box. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah, have we that. told you that Barbie idea girl. for the next panel? No. We're going to show like SPCA commercials sent to Barbie Girl and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, car crashes and that kind of stuff. Or, like, so, the first thing we did is we did the Ground Zero scene where they're cutting open paws and removing the bomb from her, set to Nincat. Mm-hmm. So we think... Oh, God. So we think the new one is going to have a lot of scenes like that. Probably will. So we're just going to set, like, Aqua and, like, Eiffel 65 toy box, that toy box. Right. Do you want to do, the, do the, the Aqua version of Barbie Girl, or do you want to do the German version of Barbie Girl? No, you want to do the Aqua version. <laughs> you want to do the Aqua version mm-hmm. so people get it. Oh, we might do Gangnam Style over it. That'd be pretty good. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, sex oh. lady crash. <laughs> 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 yep, okay. All right, this, this has been... Uh, Andrew. Andrew, English. Uh, Bremen, Tagalog. Austin. <laughs> Powers. Tori. <laughs> and Anthony Tom. Bronson, we will hopefully be back next week because I've been wanting to kickstart the game cast and this might have been the catalyst to do it. So. Woohoo! Bye! Bye. Nothing looks like a catalyst quite like a car crash.